Families in the UK are shrinking. Most of us now have two or less. But some extraordinary families are bucking the trend. I feel like a sex machine. <laughs> Having 10, 12, or even 16 kids. Mum's addicted to babies. She could go on and on and on. In this series, we get up close with Britain's biggest families. My mum's crazy because she's had loads of kids. <laughs> From births to weddings, christenings to festivals, to everyday family life. Some people say we're mad because we've had so many children, and there are times when I think they're absolutely right. <laughs> Tonight, we meet the parents of two more broods who just can't stop having babies. Who's your dummy? It's never been difficult to get pregnant. I just would think about it and be pregnant. But now they're in their 40s, getting pregnant's getting harder. It is difficult to find the time, you know, as you know, you know, to get down to, you know, doing the deed. Will they get one last chance at motherhood or have to call time on having kids? I'm worried about the day when I've got to accept that I'm getting old. Scared about that day. So scared. In a quiet suburb of Sunderland, a 42-year-old mum is trying to decide if she should expand her big brood. Come on, everyone! Amanda already has 11 kids, ranging in age from 1 to 26. I don't find it personally difficult having a big family, having a lot of children. If you can get past three, once you've got number four, that's it. Everything else is a doddle. Tony's Amanda's second husband. He's stepfather to the oldest six, and father to the youngest five. When the kids come along, it's just one after another, it just happened. But not everyone's thrilled to be part of a large family. If I had it my way, I'd be a single child, like I wouldn't have any brothers and sisters. It's about time she stops having kids. She's old now. Meet the Allens. Today at the Allens household, they're getting ready for a special occasion. It's youngest Thomas's first birthday party. No. To Thomas, happy birthday. Hello so from Lily Mia. Um, Did you write that yourself? Um, yeah. Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> and to celebrate, the family are off to their favourite venue, the pub opposite their house. <laughs> For Mum Amanda, having lots of children has always felt like the natural thing to do. I love every aspect of being a parent, you know, babies, toddlers, when they're older. Gorgeous boy, and yeah. When you have such a large family, there's always one question on everyone's lips. Are you going to have any more children? Yeah. Well, Tony wants one more. So do you not think you'll have any more? No. no. One's enough for me. Ah, but you never know. You never know what's oh, on the This is true. It's a question that's causing some debate within the family. I think everyone's expecting it, though, if I'm at be honest. She always says afterwards, I'm going to stop no more, and then she has another one. If I had it my way, she wouldn't be having any more. <laughs> I think she should have another one because I love babies. Is all ready to go? Let's go! If there was another baby, I would give up my teddy bears that I had from when I was younger. Of all the family, no one loves babies more than dad of 11, Tony. He's got his heart set on having one more. Tony takes reproduction very seriously. He even breeds animals as a hobby. I'll see a rough guess there'll be about 100 pigeons here. Six rabbits, 21 chickens. The chickens are scary. <laughs> it's a nice one now, babies. And you usually have about four or five babies. Ah. Makes it all exciting. What do, you, what do you think it is that makes you want to have more? Just makes you happy, really. Different thing that the bands is around you all the time. But this time round, Amanda's not sure if she wants another baby or not. 
Everybody. She's been having babies since she was 16. By the time her youngest is one, she's usually pregnant again. Great, Amanda. On your hop. Another half off. All right. Brilliant. Oh, smash it. But since having Thomas, things have changed. Get across your one and a half stall, so... Yeah. Hopefully get me two stone award by Christmas to wear something nice. She's worked hard to lose her baby weight and has started getting her social life back. Thomas is getting a little bit older and I've started going out again and I'll go out and I really enjoy myself with my friends. Keep it going. I will get a little black dress for Christmas. She even has time for a bit of body art. It doesn't hurt. Once you've had a baby, you can I complain about the tattoo, can you? Here, baby. Well, 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 yeah, even if you've had one baby, you can't kind of complain about the tattoo, but when you've had 11, you certainly can't complain about the tattoo. Uh, so is this the finish for the bands, then? Have you got enough now, or are you...? Well, it's like I said the other day, he's been, um, you know, asking for one more. You must be some kind of guy to have 11 kids. Mm hmm He must be very patient. <laughs> Faced with the same question everywhere she goes, Amanda's in a dilemma about what she should do. And more decided that I won't have any more. I've got all them children, so do I really need to have any more? I'm not getting any younger either, so it's getting to that point where it is a little bit difficult to decide and, you know. Nearly 200 miles north in Dundee, the parents of another supersized family are in no doubt about wanting more kids. Roy and Emma already have a huge clan of 12 children, two boys and 10 girls, ranging in age from 21 all the way down to 19 months. I love having a big family. I grew up with um, six siblings, so there were seven of us, and Roy grew up with nine. We grew up on a little farm down in the south of Scotland, and, you know, with seven brothers, I always just had great fun. Meet the Han family. It's Sunday morning, and the Hans are getting ready for an important weekly ritual. Let's wake this one up, eh? Hey. Um, Morning. Jump off. One, two, three. Jump. Way. Every Sunday, the whole family get dressed up in their best clothes and go over the road to their favourite venue, church. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The family are Mormons. You know, God said, go forth, multiply, and replenish the earth. So, you know, I kind of feel like, um, and, and some people might think I'm being a bit extreme with this, but, <laughs> but uh, God wants us to have children. Having children is an important part of the family's faith but Roy and Emma have more kids than most. In this congregation, we have one other who has 10 children. I've got four, and, I thought, and there's another family that's actually got six. But most people have got maybe two, three. With 12 kids to control, Roy and Emma have to keep their eyes peeled at all times. Church is really difficult to um, sit down in the service for, I think it's an hour and 20 minutes. The little ones just don't have that kind of staying power. No, 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 stop it. No. Oh. Enos, once he goes outside, you're not getting back inside. So you end up sitting outside in the corridor yourself. Let's go sit down. Don't do that, OK? Why did you just do that? Because I'm easy. No, where's, where are you learning that from? Stop it. Sometimes I don't eat. As a specialist nurse, Roy is used to being under pressure. Don't keep doing that. I go to work and I deal with 
very stressful situations. We will go to cardiac arrests and I will, you know, be working with people, trying to save people's lives. But it's not as stressful as being at home. Even so, both Roy and full-time mum Emma would still like to have more children. Even if it is stressful, even if it's hard, there's always room in our house for one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. I always, always keen to have another baby. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't think I can carry this. Enos, what? would it be nice if Mummy and Daddy had another baby? Yep. A girl or a boy? A boy. I know what you would say. Yeah, what would Twins. you say? Twins. Twins. <laughs> Triplets. Triplets. How many more babies do you think your mum will have? I want her to go up to 15. How many do you think she's going to have? 20. 20 in total? 20 more. 20 more? 100. If she had four more and they were all boys, I'd kill them. <laughs> Roy and Emma have always been so sure they want more babies, they've never used contraception. We've always just felt that, um, you know, when we felt that it was right, it would happen and we wouldn't put any obstacles in its way. But this time, nothing is happening. It's funny, it's never been difficult to get pregnant. I just would think about it and be pregnant. But I haven't got pregnant as easily as I had before. And it's gone in my head that it's my age. <laughs> Emma's youngest child, Posey, is now 19 months old. Yeah, you got to have another one because you can't end on Posey. She's a little ginger demon. <laughs> <laughs> is she my mummy as well? It's the longest gap Emma's ever had between pregnancies and time may be running out. If I was told I couldn't have any more children, I would be sad. I am aware that the clock is ticking and may well be stopped for me, I don't know. It's time to get up. Lily, Kitty, Charlotte, it's time to get up. In Sunderland, it's a typical morning in the Allen household. 42-year-old mum of 11, Amanda, is getting the kids ready for school. So on the morning, it's a case of they all get up, go and get washed, put the uniforms on. You're awake now. Katie stays in her bedroom, obviously doing her hair and doing her makeup for school. You don't see her until we're walking out the door. You know, she's basically in her room, you know, pampering herself up. Others generally tend to get up and all, but because they've got to know they've got to get up and go to school. It's pretty straightforward, pretty plain sailing. The morning routine may be a doddle for Amanda, but she's still grappling with a difficult decision, whether or not to have one last baby. And more decided that I won't have any more, but still a small part thinks perhaps one more. Expanding the family would mean more mouths to feed, but the Allens reckon they've got that covered. No, I wouldn't say, you know, money's an issue, you know, Tony works really hard. Tony works as a mechanic, and the family's income is boosted by £93 a week in child benefits. They manage to make a little go a long way. I very rarely buy anything in bulk. I read about other big families and they say things like, oh, there's 12 of us in the house, so we go through 12 pints a day, or, you know, there's 15 of us in the house, 15... And I keep thinking, how on earth, seriously, how on earth do they really go through that amount of milk a day? As well as keeping the shopping to a minimum, Amanda has an unusual way of cutting down on the washing. What colour do you like? What colour? Oh, do you know what it is? I put, I put new socks on them every single day. New socks every day? Every day. <laughs> yes, daft. <laughs> you want purple? Champion, I love them, yep. That's it? <laughs> yep, thank you, bye, bye. I can't believe that, that she doesn't wash them, that she throws them away. I can't believe that anybody doesn't wash socks. You know? That's a bit strange. <laughs> it's only the girls. I buy them new socks every day. I used to get that sick of washing. You think, oh, my God, and white socks never look the same when you wash them, you know? So I just think for the sake of £2.50 for five pair, they might as well have nice new white socks on every day.
For Amanda, a big family doesn't mean having to slave over a hot stove every day. By the time I add up the cost of, you know, the food, for me, I find it more worthwhile, um, cost effective, just to collect the children from school and go out for tea. And for the Allens, that means a trip to their favourite venue, the pub across the road. We probably eat out three to four dinner times a week. I haven't got to do the cooking, which is added bonus. And then you just pile the plates in the middle and you walk away and it's somebody else's problem then. Every Friday night, the family also like to order in. What flavour pizza do you want? Bolognese, right. A 16 inch cheese and tomato pizza. Garlic bread house mixed, um, yeah, garlic bread house mixed grill special, yes. 23.20. Right. Cheers. Now you just take them off the top, can't you? Right. Come on then. What's the box? What's your push? So you can't complain for £23.30, can you? Well, it would cost us that if I went to the supermarket to buy the stuff. Then you'd have to cook it. Oh, that's solid. Uh, Over there. <laughs> Pass it to you. GMs. I can't do it anymore. What's your dummy? Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to dip like Thomas? You hold it. What's your favourite takeaway, Lily? Pizza or no. Chinese? What's that? Yeah. Pizza. My favourite takeaway is pizza. 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 And Thomas eats anything, don't you, son? <laughs> Just lick your fingers. Probably spend, you know, on average about four hundred and eighty pound a month on eating out and takeaways. I can honestly say that I've never, ever had a moment where I've thought, oh, my God, what have I done? Why have I had all these kids? It's difficult, I can't cope. Because I can cope. In Dundee, the hands have a very different approach to feeding the troops. They all live on Roy's nurse's salary, plus £124 a week in child benefits. To make their money go further, they often have to resort to extreme measures. Morning. Morning, Roy. What can I do for you today? I'd like half a pig. Half a pig? Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of pig. Yeah, we've got a lot of pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Buying in bulk is one way to make things cheaper. So how many you got now? 12. Still 12? Yeah. You want not any more? You got any more ideas yeah, for another no, one? Nothing happened there yet, no? so... Are you still practising? Sometimes. <laughs> It takes four people to carry the hand's meat order to their car. See you tomorrow for more. Yeah. <laughs> but even that isn't enough. There's still the delivery of those little weekly essentials. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Two hundred and thirty-eight pounds is how much it cost us, and. Um, Hopefully it will last a week. We got eight loaves of bread, and I know that won't last a week, but it gives us a good start. Ten, Ten. kilos of potatoes, that'll do a couple of meals. Six packets of cheese. We got 19, 27, 30, 36 toilet rolls there. I don't know how much milk, but we will have to go get more milk. But the hand's desire to have more children overrides any worries about extra food costs. Money wouldn't stop us from having another child. Um, we would just cut costs and try to uh, make it work. While money might not be an obstacle to more children, something else is. Roy's job. Hello. Hey, Beth, I'm just a bit of run Roy to work. Tonight, Roy's working a night shift. Sometimes Roy, Roy's really keen to just get going really early and go up on his bike or just have a nice meander up to work. And I like my walk up to work. Yeah, but I'd like your walk up to work as well. With headphones in, listening to music, I think it sounds really nice compared to, yeah, the craziness here. Although Roy and Emma may be thinking about having another baby... Bye, Emma. ..his job means they don't even sleep in the same house up to four nights a week. It's a great break from looking after 12 kids. Emma doesn't get as much of a release as I do. I mean, I'm here at work, and she's now doing the job that both of us do when I'm there on her own. And that's, that's tough. That's not easy. At home, Emma's night shift is also just beginning. 
Alice, you've gone off to bed about half nine, yeah? It's 9 p.m. and none of the children are asleep. Eva, that's like, not funny. Come on. Enos, look, come here. Don't look. Mm, Enos, that's not funny. It's a pretty quiet night, isn't it? Not only does Emma have 12 kids to get to bed, she's still breastfeeding youngest Posy through the night. Hey, Posy, Posy, Posy. Mummy. Posy makes it more difficult for me to have another baby because I'm tired. She just feeds all the time. <laughs> she won't take a dummy, she won't take a bottle, she won't take a sippy cup, she take nothing. It's hard with Roy working nights as well because there's not much else I can do, so it's just take her in bed and feed her. She, it means I don't get much of a sleep, though. She's been tough for, the, for this. Charlotte, are you looking forward to being a mother? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much laughing. <laughs> While Emma and Roy often spend the night apart, Amanda and Tony frequently go out on dates. Tonight, Tony's planned a romantic evening for two. He's stepping up his campaign for another baby. Can't have a particularly late one. Turn around. Which way? That way. But although Amanda finds parenthood a doddle, she's still unsure whether she wants to add to their brood. I'm now thinking, is it time to move forward to the next stage of my life and enjoy that? Hello. Bye. Come on, my darling, you'll be going. <laughs> Tony's picked a familiar venue for their special evening. The pub opposite. And Tony has just one thing on his mind. Making babies. You're the one who the past two to three months been seeing that will probably have a number 12, will have another baby. And I've been keep joking saying, no, I'm done. And you've been keep going, no, no, there'll be another one. And when people ask, you always go, yeah, there'll be another one. And then it was you that was saying to the midwife. Be Charlie. Yeah, exactly, you've even got a name picked. <laughs> Left looking after the other kids are teenage daughters, Laura and Katie. When it comes to socialising with my friends and that, when I bring people in, the kids are jumping on them. So it's really, like, embarrassing. I think the perfect family would be, like, having twins because, like, mum, dad, two children, boy and a girl, perfect. I think they'll have two children at the most. Couldn't deal with loads. Mum of 11 Amanda can deal with loads, and it looks like Tony's campaign for baby number 12 could be gaining favour. They keep saying there to the bands, oh, mum's going to have another one, but it'll be a girl, it'll be another sister. I'm not bothered, as long as they're healthy. If you had another little boy, especially if it was like Thomas, you know, it's no bother. No, oh, just have to wait and see. But I'm not getting any younger, you know. Mm, you tell. <laughs> Cheek. Tony's cheeky charm may finally be winning Amanda round. After the conversation in the pub about possibly having baby number 12, we did actually a few days later sit down and have a proper chat and, um, you know, think about it. I thought about it for a few days. And I said to him, I said, well, go on, we'll have one more, but just one more. In Sunderland, Amanda Allen's plan to try for yet another baby has come up against a problem. It is difficult to find the time, you know, as you know, you know, to get down to, you know, doing the date. To be honest, I actually was laughing at Santa Tony the other day, I think we should put a small little slidey lock on the inside of our bedroom door. Because they don't knock, they just walk in. <laughs> Interruptions apart, Amanda usually gets pregnant pretty quickly. But in her 40s, she may have to face some harsh facts. If I couldn't get pregnant and the doctor ran tests and said, oh, well, you can't because you've gone through the menopause now, I think I would be slightly devastated. 
While Amanda's trying for her 12th baby, it may not be long before her eldest daughter, Laura, has her first. Laura's engaged. Um, she's engaged to Daniel. Um, she's been engaged a couple of months now. No, I haven't. Yes, you it's have. nearly a year, Ma. No, it's not long. Yes, it is. Right. We got engaged the weekend after his birthday, and his birthday is a yeah, couple Yeah, but you months. only had the party a couple of months ago, and that's when people would officially say you were engaged, But technically, we've been engaged for nearly a year now. Mm. <laughs> but as I say, when people go to a party... But when we technically it's 11 months or something. Well, no, the party was only a couple of oh, months ago. I guess you say so, man. Well, it was. Right, OK. Amanda's also managed to upset another of her teenage daughters. Her decision to have yet another baby is just a source of embarrassment for Katie. The geek gobsmacked, oh my god, your mum's on another one, lad. Yeah, and then when your friends come round and see the baby doll, oh, isn't it lovely? No, oh, they don't. Yes, they do. Since when do my friends come round and see the baby? I'm not really liking the fact my mum's trying for a baby, but I guess it's up to her. In Dundee, Roy and Emma's plans to try for another baby aren't going well either. No! No! Exhausted by the 12 they already have, it's hard to find the time or energy for making more. One child in particular is wearing Emma out, the youngest, Posy. Are you a baby? Posy thinks mum is all, of her, all hers, you know, if you say, Who's like, this is my mum. She's like, no, this is my mum. She's my mummy. But you're mummy. Oh. You got mummy. Alright. You're mummy, yeah? Yeah. I think that if we had another baby, Posy would go into um, cardiac arrest or she'd be in shock. Although she's nearly two, Posy is still breastfeeding through the night. Mummy's When are you going to stop? You're not a baby. You're terrible. Yeah, you are. I'd like to think I could still maybe have another one. Um, I, I just think everything would start going back to normal. I think I'm not getting enough sleep and I think I'm tired and I think that probably, you know, there is a good chance that I would probably get pregnant easier. I've never had any of them be so tough to wean. And normally I've kind of gone with them wanting to wean, but she doesn't look like she's going to stop at all. She's hard. <laughs> My mum's kind of rubbish at the breastfeeding. I think she says to Posey, OK, no more, no more breastfeeding and everything, but it just doesn't happen for her. She just feels bad, feels too bad, and just lets her have it. Although breastfeeding can be exhausting, it doesn't stop Emma wanting more children. And the key to this may lie in her past. When I was a teenager, I had a baby that was, it was a concealed pregnancy. No one knew, including me. So when she was born, it was, um, it was decided that she should be adopted. So I've had 13 children. And to me, that is still really important. I have had 13 children. Probably when I had my first few children, there was an element of trying to replace the baby that I had given up for adoption. I wasn't really... <laughs> I wasn't really able to make my own decision, so... It may have come across it was my decision, but I don't think it really was. And having raised my children now, where I know that I value their opinions, it's quite difficult to, to imagine that they thought that was my decision. I prayed to God, please let me be able to have all the children that I want to be able to have. Our dear Heavenly Father, we're so grateful for our family and for the happiness and joy we have with all of these children. Please bless Posy that she will try and get off of the breast milk make it easier for Emma at night that she can get more sleep and, and bless Emma that she will feel um, the love that I have for her and that she'll have the energy she needs to cope with his children when I'm not here. While they're waiting for their prayers about Posy to be answered, help does arrive for the hands. Yoo-hoo! Hi, 
in the form of Emma's auntie June. <laughs> Right, right. We'll start. What oh, you want me to do? Whatever. That's right. brilliant, June. Well, we'll start with the floor. Thank you, June. That'd right. be brilliant. Okay. Does the look so bad today, the floor? Fine. <laughs> right, now. This is uh, June. Auntie June is Emma's um, auntie. And uh, she's very young, aren't you, June? <laughs> How old is June? 74. 74. <laughs> Still... So it's amazing. No, no. Emma's auntie June comes to help out once a month. I don't know. I really don't. She just keeps going. What else can I do? What else can I do? <laughs> Before you know it, she's away outside with bin bags and she's cleared the, the garden. And then if you've got too many bin bags hanging out, the takes all the bin bags off to the skip. <laughs> it's just incredible. I feel bad that June comes down and does this, no. but <laughs> I really appreciate it. It does. It makes me feel a little supported. It's lovely. Even with Auntie June's help, Roy and Emma rarely get time alone together. She really dry. That is the hardest part. For find the time to get time on her own, and um, that's a bit of an issue at the moment. Sorry. We don't often go out for the night. Um, there isn't a whole lot of romance, I think. I don't know that there ever was. I don't think Roy's very romantic. <laughs> but tonight, Emma's in for a treat. It's her and Roy's 22nd wedding anniversary, and Roy has booked a table at a local restaurant. The only problem is that even on their wedding anniversary, they're not alone. We don't go as a family to restaurants very often. There's too many children and it'll cost tons of money. Last time we went out to a restaurant was six years ago because of Jonas and you know. That is the hardest part for to find the time to get time on our own. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to propose a toast because it, this family wouldn't be what it is without your mum. Yes. She's a special mum, OK, special woman. I think we all should toast her and should show her appreciation. Appreciate to mum, OK? Yeah. To mum and dad. To have the whole family there. It was a nice experience to it's do nice it. It's nice for the children. I mean, we really do feel blessed with what we have. And, um, you know, we would just, I mean, we would be absolutely delighted if we had more. In Sunderland, Amanda's put her plans for one more baby on hold for the night. That kind of back on me hair because of the curls. It's not going big. It's daughter Katie's 16th birthday bash. Where's that big hair spoon? <laughs> 300 people are invited, including her mum. Even though I know I'm going out and I look like a freak with me hair, because it's the first time I've had it like this, people might laugh, move on to another day. I'll just not like, I look like this next time I go out. <laughs> yeah, my mum acts young, she likes to look the best she can. I suppose as long as she can act young, she'll feel you. For once, it's an Alan do that won't be happening at the pub opposite. My thing is, get in there, get dancing, up the day music. I may be getting old, but I'm not dead yet. You know, I'm worried about the day when I've got to stop dressing the way I do, when enjoying myself and I've got to accept that I'm getting old. Is that day even going to come? Who knows? I hope it doesn't. Scared about that day. So scared. Tries to be as young as she can, she does. That's why I think another reason. She's having children, she knows she still feels young. Whereas if she knows she can't have children, that's when she starts to feel old. No, oh, that's do mummy's hair. Put mummy's hair yeah, right. That's your at home, Dad Tony's babysitting the younger children. He's being helped out by Amanda's mum, Marilyn. She's worried what effect another baby will have on Amanda's health. She started having complications after having some of them, and then when she fell pregnant again, it... I don't think when they're young, they worry, but I was worrying, like, her for her health. 
and it's the start coming down. I hope it's the end now. <laughs> And for Amanda and Katie, the party's almost over. It's been absolutely brilliant. As far as I'm concerned, it's been an absolute success. I love every one of my 11 children a bit, and our children because I love children and I want children, not because I want some sort of reward, because children are a blessing, you know? They're a blessing. Now Amanda Allen is hoping for just one more blessing, to turn her 11 children into a round dozen. In Sunderland, it's been two months since mum of 11 Amanda decided to try for another baby. Today, the family are gathering together to hear some exciting news. But it's eldest daughter Laura who's got something to report, not Amanda. I'm pregnant. What? Your sister's having a baby. Are you not? He's joking, but he's all of it. No, I'm not. At 18, Laura is just two years older than her mum was when she had her first child. And she's thinking of carrying on the family tradition with her fiancé, Daniel. Actually, I was just thinking about this the other day. I know I've always said that I've only got about three or something like that, but it's another day I was sitting down thinking it would be good to have a big family. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why not? Ah. You good with my sisters? I think oh, it'd no, be good. I don't know. Having loads of young children. I don't know, I've always just thought two or three. I think my mum's first reactions were, well, can I continue to have children? And um, I think she kind of needed reassurance for me that, you know, it's all right to continue having another kid if you want. So with her eldest daughter's blessing, Amanda's decided not to give up yet. My plans of trying for a baby, they're not going to change because if I find out where I am, it's already been done, hasn't it? So I will know very, very shortly. Although I Laura, just think although... that, now you're a nana, you don't need another I know, child. But, uh, but even Laura said she hopes that I am pregnant because she would love to be pregnant at the same time as us. I, that, uh, that, but that's I find because, that weird. Well, no, that's just because you're an attention sink and you'd want everything to yourself. No, that's I just that don't is. think you should have another one. Why? Because you've got too many as it is. I've only got 11. Only? Well, exactly, only. God, two's loads. Yeah, no, it isn't. A year ago, if you'd said to me, once you become a nana, will that be the end? I would have said yes. In a million years, am I not having a child younger than grandchildren? But now it's happened. I'm thinking, is it really going to be that wrong to have a baby younger than your grandchildren? Probably not, because they'll just grow up together and it'll be lovely. I think it'd be nice to see two generations, you know, together playing. In Dundee, Roy and Emma's plans for more children are still being foiled by youngest daughter Posey's okay. constant breastfeeding demands. Is that good? Children. And... But now they've come up with a radical plan. They've booked a B&B, &B, but once again, they won't be spending the night together. I'm going to go and stay overnight somewhere and um, just kind of have a really good night's sleep. And Roy's off tonight, so he's going to try and look after Posey and see if we can just break her feed in through the night. Emma's taking 18-year-old daughter Polly with her for moral support. This is for Mummy. Bye-bye, Mama. Bye-bye, Mama. Bye-bye, Posey. Bye-bye. It'll be her first ever night away from Posey. It was kind of sad seeing Posey at the window just now, um, but I'm kind of excited to be gone for the night. Hiya. Hello. Hiya. <laughs> Basically, for the last two years, I've not had a full night's sleep, so it is kind of scary to think about another baby, but... If it got a little easier, then maybe it would be possible. We're definitely going to get a good night's sleep. Yeah. Are you missing home? No. <laughs> this point, Emma probably would just put her on the breast just to make her happy. I'm just hoping that Dad's coping OK and that they're settling down for the night. I think I'll be fine. Yeah. 
Do you want daddy? <laughs> Roy doesn't always, he doesn't often do night times with the kids because he works a lot of nights. So he's not really used to getting them settled. There we go. Cuddles. Just want to just make sure that everybody's that he's on it and he knows everybody's settling down and everything's okay. She didn't sleep much today, so hopefully she'll just she'll go to sleep early tonight. Oh, she's gone to sleep. How long has it been? Five minutes. I should text Emma and we'll see how she feels. She probably won't believe me at all. Ten minutes after she left, she was asleep. Did she ask for me? No. Not at all? She never asked for you. OK. Were well, you going to get a good night's sleep then, yeah? Absolutely. It sounds like it's pretty peaceful there. Not as peaceful as here. <laughs> Roy and Emma have both survived the night, but the real test is yet to come. The best outcome is that when she sees me, she doesn't want to just feed immediately, which, you know, whenever I'm out, she always, as soon as she sees me, she wants to feed. Hello. Hi, Emma. Hi, Emma. Buddy. Things. Oh, oh. Get that bag. Oh, how was she? Oh, well, she, she went to sleep really fast. You clever girl. Did you stay with Daddy? Yeah. Did you have to stay with Daddy last night? No. Where's my hugs? I Who gets the biggest hug? Mummy. <laughs> Mummy hugs. Kisses? Where's Daddy's kids? She didn't feed most of yesterday at all. It was just on in the morning. Toes, on your tippy toes. On your tippy toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 24 hours. That's the longest she's gone, really. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> Fun. In the Allen household, for Mum Amanda, normal family life goes on. James! Up! Oh. James! She's been having children since she was 16, but this time round, getting pregnant is proving more difficult. I did have a chat with the doctor last week and he did say that at my age, if I was planning a baby, you know, not to expect it to happen as quick, because usually I fall pregnant pretty quickly. But Amanda's decided she's not willing to carry on trying indefinitely. I've said to Tony that I will try for a baby, but I've told him that we'll, I will give it a maximum of only about three months of trying because I would usually be pregnant within that time. I don't want to let it take over my life. With eldest daughter Laura now pregnant, Amanda's starting to think about passing the baby-making baton on to the next generation. I'm really excited about, you know, Laura having a baby. I think it's really nice, you know, to look forward to that, that next stage in my life. I'm now sort of in the frame of mind of, should I just leave it to my children to do? And I just get all the nice bits, all the cuddles and taking the baby out, you know, for the day and things like that. And obviously, you know, if nothing happens and, you know, I'll just put it down, it's not meant to be and, you know, just, you know, be happy with the fact that, you know, I've got 11 lovely, healthy children and um, I'll get nice baby cuddles and, but I can still have, you know, a life at the Hans house, peace has finally been restored. Who knows how to draw a face that's got a smile and a frown? We need the eyes in the middle and we need a frown on one side and a smile on the other. I think Posey is getting a little easier. I am getting a bit better sleep, so I do feel a bit, a bit more rested. I still think I have a few years of me. Everyone's still hopeful that their big family will soon get even bigger. It's still time for us to maybe have another one or two or who knows what. I want her to have three more girls. <laughs> There's probably not enough food, probably not enough space, but there is a lot of love for more children, eh? I'm sure we can spare some. <laughs>
<laughs> Is Emma pregnant now, boy? I don't know if I want to answer that question. As far as I know, I'm not pregnant, and I wouldn't be telling you before I tell my kids. <laughs> um, I just have to wait and see. Can we see yeah. the picture? Next time, Britain's biggest family, the Radfords. Is it a wrong? Yeah. Yeah. And the hands both have a very special family event to plan. But with sibling fighting threatening to overshadow the big days... It's, hey, she got my thing. Rip the hair out. Will it be peace? I'd like to welcome everybody to this special day for the Radford family. Or war. How do you deal with that situation in public when everyone's judging you?